Well, everyone, before I could even upload my prediction video for the January 2024 LEGO Star Wars wave, I've actually already got a couple pieces of information as to what we might be getting in January. Let's talk about it. So welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars video. And today we have a pretty big video since I might possibly have some information regarding three of the January 2024 LEGO Star Wars sets. Really quickly though, before we get into those sets, I do want to do one more quick giveaway regarding a early minifigure part right here. Uh, this is actually the Harrison Dula head coming from the Ghost set in September 2023. And if you guys do want to win one of these for free, nothing too much you can do with just a head for a minifigure, but if you guys want to have, you know, just brownie points for uh, having something, you know, three, four weeks early. So all you guys have to do to win a free Harrison Dula head a month early is it leave a like on this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like my past three videos, then leave a comment down below. Which LEGO Star Wars 2023 Ahsoka show minifigure are you looking forward to getting most? And that's all, guys. Really quickly, I do just want to mention, you know, we will be getting the entire, you know, rumor list for January, March, May of next year within the next, like, three or four weeks, if not even maybe one or two weeks. You know, very soon, we will actually be getting the official list. All right, guys, so let's actually break down this message I got a couple hours ago. This actually comes from the same person that helped me leak out the images for the May 4th promos early. This comes from that same person. So, you know, in my books, you know, reliable, you know, credible, uh, you know, no reason to really doubt this and again this makes perfect sense so the message reads as follows it says hey tyler so i got a customer coming in at the shop today and he owns a store he showed me his order paper where he could order things for january 2024 a couple of good things here so before anything i think it's pretty obvious by now we all should know that uh, you know months and months in advance you know again like perfect timing you know five six months in advance you know these stores whether it's a mom and pop shop or a walmart a target a kohl's they have to, you know, get their orders in for the wave. You know, they have to kind of let Lego know how much they're going to be buying. And in some scenarios, not all the time, but there's definitely probably more that we don't even know about, you know, throughout the years. Uh, you know, actual, you know, Lego sets that are competing against each other. You know, just like how we had, you know, this year, we had the actual Jabba's throne room competing with the uh, the Death Star Final Duel diorama. And then, you know, retailers just picked the Death Star Duel over Jabba's throne room. And that was the one that actually got picked released and sold in stores uh, and other scenarios too we've had stuff like where the at, -AT driver helmet i believe went up against like the scout trooper i believe and the scout trooper won that or i think it was actually the at, -AT driver helmet versus the luke skywalker's x-wing pilot helmet i think those were the two that were facing off against each other and in that scenario you know most of the retailers had to have picked the luke skywalker's helmet at that point you know since we don't have the at, -AT driver yet so uh this happens a lot more than we you know probably think and that's what kind of makes me think you know these three things right here mentioned on this list they are subject to change i'm not saying these are necessarily 100 percent coming out january 1st what i can say though there's a very good chance they're gonna be on the rumor list and you know, let alone a very good chance of also coming out, but they are guaranteed to be on the order list for these stores right now for the you know for the actual retailers to you know pick between or you know see if it's actually gonna sell well. Do these stores want to put it in their actual you know shelves? And this is what it is right here. So the first thing, a $30 battle pack with clones and battle droids. Of course, you know, a very brief little thing right there. It's not gonna, you know, just blatantly say right on the actual little description thing, you know, what clones you know what legion uh you know what droids is going to be in there so at this point we only know 30 dollar battle pack clones and droids which i'm surprised you know look if it really does come out that way worth a, a singular 30 dollar battle pack clones and droids um you know look i love it. i'm a prequel guy as much as you know i might have my gripes with the clones and stuff uh you know i definitely just it's pretty crazy at that point how many clones they're really doing i'm just hoping it's not a 501st or a 332nd uh you know battle pack of course you know get those guys uh, far away from us you know give us a, a shock trooper battle pack you know maybe give us wolf pack uh, that would be pretty cool and my main thing with this honestly at the end of the day i don't really care too much about what clones are in there you know they're all gonna have the helmet holes they're all gonna have probably an imperfection or two it is just what it is but my main thing is if we are going to be getting droids you know in that battle pack i i really do hope give us some super battle droids give us some droid because give us some commando droids I swear, man, if we if I see a single, you know, regular battle droid or a single, you know, AAT driver droid in that battle pack, I'm going to lose it. Like, I'm going to lose it. We're getting too many of those. And the droid army is like, really, I, I saw for like Rebel Fleet Troopers. Like, Rebel Fleet Troopers are, are getting shafted every single year. 
you know, for literally since 2007 or 2008, I guess, you know, those guys have been shafted for 15 years, but getting a droid army nowadays, that's not just regular tan droids is nearly impossible. And I think we all know that. So that's my main thing with that $30 battle pack. Hopefully it's new Legion and hopefully at this point, some actual good battle droids. So next up here, this is where it starts getting a little bit more interesting. You know, we actually have a, a real set right here that uh, we can kind of run with. It's actually a, a you know, $59, probably $59.99, so $60 uh, Crimson Firehawk from the Young Jedi Adventure Show. So I have not seen the show yet. We've actually already got a set from it. Uh, you know, 75358, the Tanu Jedi Temple. It came out on uh, July 1st or June 1st, I guess, for, uh, you know, other people around the world. But, you know, this summer, it was a summer set this year. Uh, came with a couple pretty cool minifigures, uh, four plus set, you know, subjectively overpriced. You know, it kind of is what it is. You know, minifigures kind of carry. And I feel like not a lot of people are actually watching that show. Of course, it hits a certain demographic. But the actual ship here itself, uh, from what I've kind of read about it, is I guess it's kind of like the main ship they're kind of flying around in that show. It actually is owned by Nash Durango, which we have not seen yet. And some of the crew members on there, of course, it looks like we have, you know, Nash Durango, which could be a brand new minifigure. Uh, we have Nubs, which is that little blue guy that, uh, you know, people were kind of complaining we didn't get him, you know, in the Tanu Jedi Temple, but now it made perfect sense. Uh, and then we also have the same two, like Kai Bright Stars, the, the Lis uh, Sole, uh, both those Jedi, maybe they could re-put them into this set, maybe one or the other, if not both. And then also a droid right here, RJ-83. That's kind of like the crew of this ship. So are we going to get like all five of those people? Definitely a possibility. The biggest thing here though, is for a $60 price point, you know, will it still be a four plus set? You know, just like the last one, are they really going to market all these Young Jedi Adventure sets only for four plus? It's definitely possible. So this could be a $60 set and only have 250 pieces and you know give us you know three minifigures and that's basically what you're looking at you know from from a four plus set these days and that could definitely be the case well i think the ship design looks fine uh what i gotta be honest it looks very similar to me at least like at least like the front half um you know to a t6 shuttle and like almost like the same colorway too so in my opinion it's going to be a little weird i think seeing both those on the shelf of course they could downscale it a bit more i've seen some mocks of it uh you know actually made in lego form that is a little bit more scaled down of course it could be four plus look a little bit more wonky in that regard uh probably not look as you know sleek as that t6 but who really knows at this point you know if it is not if it's not four plus and they take it a little bit more seriously it really could look nice and uh you know if the minifigures are good and exclusive um you know people will probably eat it up just for those minifigures so and moving on to the last one here really quickly we have a hundred dollar to be determined set and what i can say here uh you know take this with a a little bit of a grain of salt mainly for the fact of probably why it is still marked as to be determined since you know lego themselves lucasfilm themselves might not even know when the show's coming out is if it has something to do with the new skeleton crew set which that's a little bit of some of the uh, the back end murmurings right now uh we don't even have an official release date for that show but this is a prime example you know if it is a skeleton crew set which i can't confirm if it is or not but you know that's kind of again the back end stuff going for it if this hundred dollar set is that you know, that might be one of those, you know, prime examples where it gets pushed back into the summer, you know, not come out January and might get fully canceled. You know, if the Skeleton Crew show really just kind of drags out and doesn't come out for a while. And uh, there's kind of that. But those are the first three little pieces of information regarding 2024, you know. So, again, uh, I'll just say it right here. If you guys work at, like, mom and pop shops and, like, if you guys have any, you know, recollection or any, any uh, possibilities of checking out your order sheets for Lego... Um, you know, I'm not even necessarily looking for pictures or anything like that. Like don't risk your job for it, but, uh, it's a very kind of underrated way to kind of get a feel for what's coming out in the future. Like, you know, this stuff has been going on for many, many years. And, you know, like I said, we will be getting that official whole entire list here in probably two or three weeks. And, uh, I'd be very surprised based off a couple other people I was talking to, um, out of all three of these things here, if we don't see that Crimson Firehawk for 60, you know, maybe it's marked up to 70, whatever. But if we don't see a Crimson Firehawk in January, um, I would be very surprised because again, everyone's, you know, kind of seeming pretty confident about it. 
and uh, I'd be surprised if we're not seeing it. But, all right, guys, well, that is everything for today's video. Again, kind of just a uh, first little maybe sneak peek at some 2024 stuff. Um, I just figured this was, you know, big enough to cover. Uh, there's definitely some validity here, and uh, we'll have to kind of see, you know, do any of these three actually make the final cut when we get that rumor list in a couple weeks from now. Uh, lastly, I do, I still want to put out a prediction video um, probably early next week for kind of the remainder of like January, March, and May sets. Um, although maybe there's a couple things here, of course, like skewing my predictions, but there's still 80% of everything that I've got no clue about. So I will definitely still make that video. Uh, feel free to enter that Harrison Duel ahead giveaway, you know, nice and free. Gets you ahead a month early and that uh, gets you some brownie points there. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys and stay safe.